Hello, this is Nathan. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be talking about diversity. Uh, and I don't mean racial diversity, as uh, good a thing as that is. We're actually going to be talking about uh, intended diversity as it relates to wireless. I have another crudely drawn diagram. I apologize, but hopefully this will get the point across. Uh, essentially, diversity is when you utilize more than one antenna in an access point uh, to make sure that the throughput or the uh, transmitted signal is good enough that we don't end up with what's called multipath propagation. Uh, I will explain what multipath propagation is. That is when uh, signals are transmitted into a, you know, into a room or an environment and because of obstacles, be they the ceiling or, or maybe a metal filing cabinet, uh, those signals are bounced around the room and arrive at the antenna at uh, different intervals. This can cause uh, retransmits and throughput issues. Uh, in this, if being a perfect environment, what you want to do is you have more than one antenna, which is why there could be two antennas on, say, a, uh, a Cisco 1242, where you'd have two antennas for the A radio and two for the G radio. Uh, let's assume this is a G radio scenario, so you have your two antennas. When any radio signal is transmitted, it widens. As it widens, that signal can then bounce off any number of things in the room, be they a wall, a, a pane of glass, uh, the ceiling, like I said, or a metal filing cabinet, or even people or other things in the room. As those reflect, you, what you want to have happen is that most of the signal, or as much of it as possible, gets to one of these two antennas. That's where diversity comes in. In this case, as you can see, that signal's reflecting, but it's hitting antenna one, the receiver one, uh, on the AP, and not two. So receiver one would be the antenna that the AP will use for that transmission. There could be another scenario with because of maybe the way the room is laid out, because of something or an event going on in the room, or maybe uh, in a warehouse where stock may change or stock levels rise, uh, maybe in receiver two would be used uh, maybe later in the week or, or another time. Either way, it's going to pick one of these two antennas to utilize. We have a number of customers who used to believe or think that what they could do is take these two antennas and separate them by large distances in two different rooms. Uh, just to spread coverage. It's really not what diversity is for. Uh, diversity is to keep those antennas close together so that you can make sure that you maintain a great connection from your transmitters to your receivers. All right, so today we were talking about diversity and I wanted to wrap with a couple of key points. We talked about those antennas uh, and how we have two of them. What I wanted to bring to your attention is that it's important to space these antennas five inches apart. So when you are dealing with, say, a Cisco uh, 1242 or 1231, and yes, those are legacy APs, but when you are dealing with a scenario like that, you want to keep those antennas spaced at five inches at a max of 20. So you can do five inch increments, but the max really is 20 inches apart. So sticking them in two different rooms obviously is not going to be an option. Uh, also, your internal antennas on your access points like your 1142s or 1131s, those are already pre-spaced. So you don't have to worry about those. So that information earns us the uh, happy smiley face. And uh, I thank you for joining us today, and hopefully you learned something.